Okay, so I'm going to show you how to put a uh, brake system on a racing lawnmower. As you see, I've made a couple changes. I put in another, well, what's left of the piece that lowers the mower deck down. I welded it right to the frame, so in case I hit somebody, my foot doesn't slip and go right through. And break my ankle or my something else. And uh, I took the rest of the handle and I welded it on to my Nerf bars here. So when I'm leaning now, uh, I can actually hit my brake system. It's right there. You know, just quick response. Another thing I added was I took that three speed transmission out and I put a five speed in it. Five speed Peerless 700. Oh baby. And this thing is like scary fast. I've only gotten her up to third before I shut her down. Half the reason is because I don't have brakes on it yet, as you see. But what I did find was a go-kart brake kit that fits perfect on lawnmowers. And uh, this is an 8-inch rotor that comes with it. You can find the entire kit on eBay for $64 plus $15 or $20 shipping. But uh, this is solid steel. Uh, and if you see stuff coming in front of the screen, uh, I'm not smoking. It's I live in upstate New York, and right now we have a lot of white stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, the caliper didn't come with it. It shipped separate for some reason. And so what I'm going to end up doing now that I'm seeing this is I'm going to weld an L bracket right from the main chassis right up and against the top plate right here to hold the caliper and plus I might weld some other stuff to make sure it stays there for when I hit the brace the force doesn't rip it off uh, but for this what I'm going to end up doing is as you see that one little piece it's sitting on is moving so I'm going to weld that right to the axle because uh, it's never moving again <laughs> and uh, this is a self adjusting rotor uh, there's two Allen screws up here that you tighten in and uh, you run it once I guess this is what from what I read uh, then it'll adjust itself you come back and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, maybe four tacks in the rotor itself to this little metal sleeve uh, just so you know when the caliper grabs it stays there <laughs> and stops me because uh, I'll be doing anywhere from 45 to I don't know, 55 miles an hour on dirt on this thing. Uh, but the only reason I'm getting this is, number one, uh, there's no videos on YouTube that I can find of putting an actual brake system on a lawnmower. And number two, they changed the rules in the racing series I'm in for upstate New York. Uh, this is a modified, it is a single cylinder 16 horse Tecumseh. Uh, with the three-speed transmission, I was topping out around 33 miles an hour, but this has got the five-speed, so I suck at math, so I'm not going to attempt it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically it uh, for the brakes. They're, they're really easy. When you get your, your little brake handle here, uh, you can grab them off any bicycle. Uh, I like going to junkyards. As you can see, because this lawnmower is made out of three to four different mowers, uh, I'm cheap and it works. Don't judge me. <laughs> but the brake system that I found is uh, what they call a manual brake system. It's not hydraulic, thank God, because I saw them and they're like $200. Um, if you're in professional racing with lawnmowers, go ahead, do it. Uh, but I like things cheap and easy. I built this lawnmower uh, with, I think I have $120 into it. And it's got seven wins last season, just alone. And I was in the overhead valve improved series. This year, I'm in the modifieds. I'm going to die. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, once the caliper comes in, I will extend this video and show you how to do the caliper uh, welding and all. So, uh, subscribe and come back.
And uh, we will get you.